Good morning, Chuck and Paige here in Buriram, Thailand this morning. This bed was super, super... Comfy. Paige says comfy, I say awesome. There's no other word for it, but awesome. The pillows, we tried to look and see what the name, name of the pillows were, but we couldn't figure it out. So it just says like hotel pillow or something. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, we, uh, we're going to go ahead down to our breakfast. This hotel was actually like 660 baht a night here in Buri Ram. Comes with breakfast. $21. Yeah, 21 US dollars. But I'll leave a link to the... If you didn't watch the video yesterday, I'll leave a link again today for this. But we're headed to Chantaburi this morning. We've got another 300 and something kilometer drive there. And... Uh, yeah, Chantapuri is one of my favorite places. Got a lot of really good seafood, but we're staying in the city. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do today. It's gonna be a fun trip. I hope you guys come with us. So uh, let's go eat some breakfast. Awesome bed. Very. This is probably one of the cleanest hotel rooms I think we've ever stayed at in Thailand. <laughs> okay. Some hot dogs. Salad, coffee, soup, and eyeball sandwich. And that air conditioner is freezing. Well, that was an okay breakfast this morning. Not bad for a uh, six hundred, yeah, twenty-one dollars for the. For the hotel and the breakfast we've uh we've been to Buri Ram a few times we have quite a few videos here in Buri Budi Ram but uh it's just a stopping point till we get to our final destination in Gochang next stop Chantaburi Chantaburi we are out of here we always seem to rush through this town and uh, Buri Ram, big town. You want some ice cream? Thank you, Thank you. Okay guys, I had to make a pit stop real quick. I got my fishing pole in the truck. I found a fishing tournament. The pace said they're only throwing a net. And I think she's right. This is a, a Thai style fishing tournament. So do they win money? Probably, right? What is this guy gonna do? Oh, that was a pretty good cast. Awesome Thailand right here. Yeah. Okay, I've had enough fun. Huh? I just saw it passing by. I had to make a really long U-turn. I said, we got to stop and check this out. Everybody's going to want to see that. Very funny. Okay, let's go. No time for that. A lot of people ask me about how, how we find all the good deals on the hotels around here. Well, Paige usually does the research you know, on the, on the hotels, but I made a video. I'll share again the link here on exactly how we do find locations, find hotels, kind of find the ideal spot to, to really travel around in Thailand. And we pretty much use this technique everywhere around the world. But anyway, you can check the video out right here. I also had a comment from a lady that said that I wouldn't make Soy Mafia so mad if I would actually put a ring around your finger. That obviously we're not married. <laughs> I don't really like jewelry. I never have. 
mechanics. A lot of mechanics, they don't like jewelry. What are they doing here? Oh, he lost that. But um, Paige doesn't like to wear jewelry. She has a lot. We actually do have wedding rings. I wear mine all the time, see? But Paige doesn't like to wear jewelry. She just doesn't really like to look flashy, huh? No. Uh, we are married, though. I think we're going on, let's see, 12 years now? At least. I met, well, we, we, I met you in 2007. <laughs> that's okay. That's what's great about, about, that's what's great about Paige is she doesn't think too much. I, after like 10 years, I finally remembered our anniversary though, but she still doesn't remember. Do you remember it? It's October. She's getting better. She used to say September. <laughs> yeah, so that's it's the right month. Yeah, October 19th. Yay. Yay. Of course, all throughout Thailand, they're doing road construction everywhere. Like I said in the last few videos, they're going to make all these roads here four lane because it's very difficult to drive on the roads when you have three different speed limits for motorbikes, big trucks, and small vehicles. So, and trying to pass in curbs, no lights anywhere, very dangerous. So they're, they're finally fixing all this throughout everywhere in Thailand. Well, the bad thing about these two lane roads is just you cannot get around these. With these curves and these big trucks, I mean, you just can't, they're only allowed to go 60, kilometers per hour and they're up in the mountains here and uh, you got to stay behind them and then the guy you know there's people behind you that want to ride like right up on you I don't know like the guy behind me wants to get through me somehow but uh, it's very dangerous and if you're in a situation where a truck is gonna pass I didn't get it on camera but the big truck in front of me passed this one and there was cars coming this way. Everybody just had to stop and get over. And nobody beeped, nobody got angry. They just moved over. And if you're in the, you're in your lane and you see a gigantic truck coming in front of it and he's flashing his lights, maybe just pull over if you can. There's not a lot you can do. Because it really doesn't matter if I get in front of this guy or not. There's another one, right? <laughs> another one up in front, so. About 10 of them. Doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Except for the guy behind me. Well, we're at a pit stop here. I don't know where. Beautiful flowers, beautiful, another beautiful pit stop. snacks. Wow, this is a big seven. They have two entrances. One there and one there. It's like two sevens combined in one. Maybe it is. Get some uh, squid chips. Big sheep. I've never seen these before. This is similar to the other thing I get, but it feels a little harder. You got strawberry too. Let me try. Let me try that. My Doritos. Look what I found. Yeah. 
peanut bar. And this coffee is always really good and it's cheap. This is a 14 baht for this. Good iced coffee. Yep. Selfie station. Beautiful green rice field. It's probably their second round, huh? Well, you can never go wrong with barbecued chicken, right? I saw this in passing. I was like, okay, we gotta stop here and eat. Look at that. Mm. That looks pretty good, huh? It's a lot of chicken. Only the whole one. Okay. Well, that was a good lunch. 200 baht for a whole chicken because I didn't sell half. One little bag of sticky rice and a water. Not too bad, and it was good. But we had to leave because one thing about Thailand and eating Thai food all the time is, I don't know, maybe it's getting old too. I don't know. Look how beautiful it is. That you really got to, uh, if you'd got to use the restroom in Thailand, it's like you got to go like right away. <laughs> so, uh, luckily, there's little gas stations and stuff everywhere, everywhere throughout Thailand. But yeah, I know exciting stuff. <laughs> we are hugging the border all the way. Cambodia. It's very, very beautiful out here. And all these uh, trees with the yellow flowers on it, that always, they always start blooming just before Songkran. Very beautiful flowers. We're getting pretty close to uh, Chantanak Bodhi. This area has some of the best tasting fruit in all of Thailand, everywhere. Most of the durian and the mangosteen and everything comes out of this area because of the soil. The soil is really rich and red. Of course, we're in the mountains, but a very rich soil here. It's just the beginning of durian season, I think, right now. I haven't seen any mangosteen, tukriyan. Crispy mm -hmm. something with crispy pie with strawberry. Crispy. Good, it's like a preserved strawberry. They're not gonna put a fresh one in there, I guess, huh? <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Be a <bigger> than that. <laughs> well, this is the town of Chan 
Chanta Mori. Actually, we're going to turn right here, and that's going to take us into the city. Into the city, but it's big. I've always wanted to ask Thai people why they don't wear glasses when they're riding a motorbike. They don't even like to wear helmets, but they constantly get stuff in their eye. But they're worried about their skin color. They'll wear a coat when it's 40 degrees outside so they don't get dark. But they don't really care too much about their eyeballs. They care about Corona, though. Wait, I gotta edit that out. <laughs> Traffic jam. Drive through liquor store. a very interesting little road that we're staying on it's like an old an old style in 500 meters old turn part left of town. on Mountain Mayhem Road then take the first right okay very tight fit the next trick is going to be parking Paige said the ho hotel says they only have two two spots so our chances are slim and this is one way a nice looking big market there. Mm -hmm. Fresh market. Turn right on South Hatherburn Road. Is that the hotel there? <laughs> oh, you can't turn right. Oh shit, we can't. What do we do? Okay. Can you have the turn left and go right? Awesome. <laughs> You. Yeah, GPS got us. It's down that way. We can't go. I think that one. Shit. Now we got to make the loop again. Yeah. I think mm, we got to pass that road next time. Mm -hmm. If we can get to this. <laughs> this guy here is kind of a zombie. <laughs> Watch out for your feet. He said you can go. <laughs> All right, we'll just drive through here, huh? Get a quick video and now mm -hmm. we don't have to come back. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have the little old school stuff. It's not really cool too, but yeah. it might be parking. Yeah. There's a ri river right on the other side of yeah, here. Yeah, there's a restaurant out here. So, we'll walk down here later. They open later. Um, Maybe if we can get through here. No, when possible. Here. Well, that was a challenge trying to get through here this is like a selfie central there's a lot of people walking around with cameras so I guess there's a lot to look at here we're staying here at the like I said before the La Luna River House I don't know what's going on there but uh yeah oh they're getting ready for bedtime yeah put that shit right there Hey, I see a hamburger place right next door here. <laughs> Look, it's a wacko burger. Cooked, cooked by four and about people just like you. Hmm. Interesting. I'm interested. Okay. I guess you heard me talking about hamburgers. They put us on the fourth floor. Huh? Chansi? Oh, Chansi. Okay. My Melai. Oh, come on, guy. Chai. Falang Uan. I'm a fat ass, so. Okay. The little girl was like, yeah, exercise. The Pum Pui one laughed, though. Yeah, this is our, our not this is not our floor though. No. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Little Thai style steps. 
It's not bad going up, it's coming down. You gotta walk sideways. I know I'm complaining, sorry. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> It's going to be fun after a few cocktails. Whew. Is this the closet? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three S for sure. I'm surprised the shower is not over the bed. Ah. Yeah, they got bars in case you want to jump out. Look, there's a big church. That restaurant next door looks interesting. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be more interesting coming back upstairs. <laughs> There's an extremely loud noise coming from upstairs. Uh, I guess uh, maybe it'll go away. Maybe. <laughs> I brought my earplugs. Let's go take a walk. Kitty kitty. Oh, I gotta lock the bag up. If Paige ever starts to make a lot of money on YouTube, we're gonna buy a touring van and uh, I'm gonna haul the mafias around. I think that'll be super fun. I don't know where Paige went. There she is. I don't know. Where do you want to go? In there? No, just that. Okay, go. It's a pretty cool looking town, huh? Well, there's gonna, I guess this is gonna be a long video because it looks like a lot of things to, uh, to check out here. Very cool graffiti. Yeah, there was a statue just like that in Kaosan Road. I remember. This is a very cool looking Triumph, isn't it? 900cc. Look, a tuk-tuk. You wanna go for a ride? Come on, get in the back. It still looks the same. <laughs> I'm really digging this town. You said it gets like a market at night outside. Oh, look at that. Suai. Suai. Oh, that looks good. Mm. <laughs> Look, steak in time. Huh? Maybe we need to look at the menu here. So what they have? Do menu have? Me menu my? Me beer my? Me li o? Okay, very good. Okay, got you. Steak, hello, am I? Steak near or steak more? Steak more. Steak more. See, they have beef too. Beef, is the beef good? Hello, am I? 
นี่เนียวเนียวเนียวไหมนุ่มดีกว่าอ๋อนุ่มโอเค maybe later โอเคครับเดินเดินเดินเดินก่อนเดินก่อน see you you can speak English little bit okay I speak a little Thai นิดหน่อย it's very cool other than the traffic's annoying of course I drove through here so So do they have like a market at night? You think? Really, like a market, open more shop, you know. This place looks pretty chill. This, uh, let me see. Oh, this is the Long Lam Tamajan. Plamu. Plamu. Oh. Is that a pet? Pick time? Pick time? Art museum or something? Mm. Hello. That's pretty good there. That's good stuff. It's just messy. Fashion ice cream. I team Boran. So what they have? It's a lot of traffic. Rote. 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 Now that's a hat. to go over to the church so well that's cool that's the entire walking street we'll grab a grab a couple of beers maybe some dinner and then we'll come out and see what it looks like uh, here in a little bit when it gets dark maybe I have to use my phone Should we eat here with this guy? Do menu, Naka. You look, you look, not there. <laughs> okay, we're eating here, looks like. They got it upstairs too, but Paige says, where's the bathroom? It's on this floor, so this is where we're sitting. So anyway, it's pretty quiet. They've got some Leo beer and some copyright music. So we'll just sit here on the river and have an awesome Thai dinner. Paige wants Thai food. Plenty of time for Phalan food. Okay, you want a beer? Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, Three. 
Yay. <laughs> Cheers. Wow. That is amazing. Okay, there's no wind over in that area. And uh, there's a fan in here, so we moved inside right next to the speaker. We've been to this town several times before, but the thing is, is we live in Thailand, so oh, shit almost died. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fun to come back to, it's, there's a lot of stuff to do in I think just about every, every major town here. So when you live here, you wanna kinda not see it all at once. So there's a lot more to see here but these, we, we've been to Chantapuri a bunch, but with the mafias, and they always want to just get through and go stay by the beach. But uh, we're going to be here for a long time, so we're definitely going to come back here and explore some more one day. Yeah, but got more exploring and Koh Chang to do. <laughs> All right, we got us some Belgium French fries. Belgium. It's only French fries. French fries made in Belgium if you eat it with mayonnaise. I never in my life put mayonnaise on anything much other than tuna fish and turkey sandwiches. But it does taste pretty good with French fries, I have to admit. But ketchup's still my go-to. Yeah, you have some too. Yeah. Thank you, Belgium. I love French fries. <laughs> oh yeah, egg salad sandwiches too. You can't have an egg salad sandwich without mayonnaise. Or deviled egg. Now, there's probably a few more. Spicy seafood salad. Yam tale, yam tale. Word of the day is, wait, I might be a little confused on this. So the beach is tale or the ocean is tale? I don't know. So to the beach is tale, tale, like tale. No, oh, the sandy beach is hot side. Oh, and sandy beach is hot side. Oh, look at that. Oh, very good. So, tale. Tale is like the beach or the ocean. And so to say, uh, I like the beach. Home chop tale. Home chop tale. Tale beach. Paige can't really eat seafood. Well, she can't eat seafood at all, but that's pork though, I think. Yeah, you can eat that. And you can eat a boiled egg. Hey, thank you. <laughs> and the cucumber. <laughs> yam tale. Yam, yam is a salad. Yam tale. But it's a spicy salad. That rice is spicy. Mm. And the salt is spicy. Mm. I, I told him I like sp spicy, so not everything is spicy. I, Paige says that the fried rice is spicy. I've never had. Well, I put pepper in it myself, but I've never had it served spicy. Wow, that's good. It's not as spicy as that, but it's good. <laughs> it's spicy. Yeah. Well, me and Paige just went for a long walk, two laps around the block, and uh, we're gonna head back to the room, tired. <laughs> Guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow we are going to be in Gaut Town. It's gonna to be super fun. We're gonna wake up in the morning. We found a market over here. We'll go eat some breakfast, walk around a little bit, but we're in no big hurry. It's only about 100 kilometers. Like 90, oh, 75, 90, whatever. Anyway, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. If not, just click like and we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.